Yeah, hi guys. In this step, I am going to explain you on a period control methods. So here, period control methods. So now the same steps you need to follow um, here uh, while configuring asset accounting and depreciation and depreciation key calculation method and maintain period control methods. So when you click on maintain period control methods, here you can see. 001 so the system will uh, take what are these actually when you see here uh, these period control methods I will explain uh, uh, here so one is for acquisition additions retirement transfer so these are the ones currently so you can also define your own for a revaluation investment support upward uh, revaluation and down uh, right of uh, the what you call um, the revaluation. So usually in the asset accounting, everybody follows uh, uh, the the basic steps of all these four. So now uh, you use zero zero one acquisition. So now you see pro rata at a period start date. So whether you acquire what is this pro rata at a period start. So whether you acquire let's say if you acquire the asset which is on the 1st of January so let's let me put it this way and um, maybe I write it down uh, here so you acquired asset on 01 01 Zero twenty. Let's say okay. So the depreciation will start from first day. In this case, we don't have any issue. So let's say acquired on twentieth zero one twenty twenty. So when the depreciation should start. So the depreciation can start in this case also by right you can do following month or from first of current month. So this is how it is. It will determine, yeah. So whether you acquire in 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 between uh, at the end of the month or a beginning of the month or a middle of the month, whatever it is. So it is take a starting as a first day for starting the depreciation. So you have to sit with your business team and ask, okay. Clearly, okay, what is their requirements and what is their needs or what is the accounting um, point of view, what are their, you know, requirements for this account. So, this is how, this is same thing, same, same, um, uh, same way you need to do for all the other transactions. Like, we are new acquiring additions or retirement or a transfer or anything. Yes, you have to follow all this. Um, um, rules like uh, getting a clear requirement from your team or, or uh, stakeholders and, and try to configure according to their needs so it will end up with a clear delivery uh, relating to your requirement scheme from your business okay thank you guys so this is how I am not configuring this and just I am going to use the standard which is 001 usually that and but unless uh, you have any specific requirement on this so thank you guys, this is about uh, the controls.